What's going on everyone? It is time for another Dr. Squatch Soap review. Here we have the newest bar from the Dr. Squatch collection, Free Solo Scrub. Now I have to admit, when I first heard the name alone, I assumed it was uh, a Star Wars soap, but I guess this is actually like a, a rock climbing term. So pretty cool that they came out with a lot of new soaps recently. And I have to say, the scents seem to be improving so far. Well, we'll find out about this one. But one thing that has definitely improved is the shipping. I have to say, these are some of the fastest orders I've gotten from Dr. Squatch in a very, very long time. And I know I'm not the only one that's been experiencing that. So without further ado, let's check out Dr. Squatch limited edition free solo scrub. Very cool artwork here. He's got the rock climbing helmet. We got the mountains in the background. Um, I believe these are from a West Coast state. I don't remember which one. Washington, Oregon, one of those, one of those states. Um, so there it is. This is, I guess, inspired by this guy named Alex Honnold. Um, I believe they did. I want to say they did a few different like repackaged bars that were supposed to be kind of rock climbing. I don't know. I don't remember. They did so many repackages. But anyway, yeah, so we got the, the free solo scrub here. This is made with white rhyolite and it is a medium grit bar. Let's go through the ingredients. Oh yeah, also on the side, a little bit less vague than the energy bar and the bliss brick. It says it smells well, it does say common bold, which is pretty vague and elevated. So that's pretty vague, but it does say it smells like Sierra rock. Again, I believe that's Oregon, could be wrong. So let's go through the ingredients here. We have saponified oils, naturally derived fragrance. We are seeing that a lot now as the second overall ingredient. Shea butter, watercress extract. So I like they are having some other ingredients in here as well. Um, that's pretty cool that they have watercress in here. They have some Douglas fir, needle, essential oil. So see, here we go. Now we got some different oils. We got some different raw ingredients. I like that, I like that. White rhyolite, mica, kaolin clay, and sea salt. So a lot of really good ingredients here. And like I was saying before, this is the first time in a long time they've had uh, just an outdoors scented bar. We've had energy bar, bliss brick, which I liked, but they're not like outdoorsy type scents really. Um, we had the Jurassic Park bars. You know, we had the Return of the Halo. We had two sets of Star Wars. We had the Crypto Cleanse, which I actually really, really love. But regardless, we have not really had a lot of new outdoorsy scents. I would have to say the most recent ones would be like Coconut Castaway. You know, more of a tropical scent, but it's still outdoorsy. The last time we had a woodsy scent, besides snowy pine tar would have to be like birchwood breeze. And I'm not talking about just like an outdoorsy scent. Like there are some, some of the themed bars that are kind of outdoorsy, although a lot of them aren't. Like Batman brick is leather. Um, the Riddler bar is kind of like green apple and herbal. I would say the, the Yoda bar, that bar was, just like a nice herbal. That was kind of an outdoorsy scent slightly. Um, but still, this is like an actual outdoorsy, woodsy type theme scent, which I think they really got away from. And I love that kind of thing. So, oh, I didn't even notice. We got Sasquatch on the top holding a flag there in the, the corner. And then we got some guy falling off of the mountain. So that's pretty cool. I've never been to Oregon or any of those West Coast states. The farthest west I've been is Arizona, so. And I've never been rock climbing either. But I have been mountain hiking somewhat. And the air does smell good up there. All right, here we go. We got a fresh brick right here. Feels good. Pretty solid. A little, a little soft, but not noticeably really, unless you're really pressed into it. So here's the bar. It's, uh, I don't know how to describe that color exactly, but it's 
kind of like a, a bluish pine color with a little bit of a white cream color in the background. But most importantly, let's see what it smells like because we're five minutes into this video and I haven't even seen what this smells like. Yeah, so here we go. Pretty strong scent. I would say medium, at least a medium on the potency. Medium to strong potency. I smell a little bit of pine, a little bit of, hard to describe, but it does smell a little rocky. Like, a little bit rocky. Interesting, not bad. Um, I have been on some some mountains that smell similar to this. It, it's not just pine. You get a little bit of breeze. You get a little bit of a rockiness to it. It smells different up there. I'm still deciding how much I like this, so. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. I do smell the Douglas fir. Like not it's not just pine. It does smell like a different kind of pine. I don't know what watercress smells like, but I, I feel like I'm smelling something in here that I'm not used to. Um It does have a very fragrancy side to it. I don't want to make a bad comparison, but you know how black hole is has a very strong fragrance to it? This doesn't really smell like black hole to me, but there is a part of that strong fragrance that really is similar to it. I don't, I hate black hole. It's like my least favorite bar. This does not smell as bad, like bad like that at all, but there is a strong fragrance to it. I'm just trying to decide whether I like it or not. It's tough. It is very strong, but I like the pine side of it. So far from what I've heard, people say they really love this bar. They say it's a really fresh, clean, outdoorsy scent. I'm getting a lot of overpowering fragrance. If you like that kind of bar, you'll probably love this thing. It's almost a little too overpowering for me. Which is a little bit disappointing. It almost has a little bit of a sweet fragrance to it. I have to say, I was going into this assuming I was going to love this thing. I don't think I love it, but there are parts of this bar that I do like. So I'm a little conflicted. I don't like some of the fragrance that's in here, but I do like some of the pine outdoorsy scents that, and oils that are in here as well. So it's kind of like a little battle here. It definitely has a sweet scent side to it, a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe that's the watercress. Hmm. It's not bad. I don't know. For right now, I would just have to put this as a, as a mid bar because there are parts of this bar that I really, really like. And then there are other parts that not so sure about yet. So this might change. I have changed the rankings of probably almost every bar from Dr. Squatch that I've tried. 
So this could go up, this could go down, I don't know. Black hole went way down, uh, crypto cleanse skyrocketed over time. So I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Yet to be determined. I didn't think this would be so hard to describe, but it really is. I do like that pine needle scent though. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Overall, I'm not really sure, but I think if you haven't gotten this, you probably should get it. It's limited edition, and I think a lot of people will like this bar. Sometimes I'm just a little picky. Sometimes a little, I'm a little more picky than some of you guys. So uh, you might like this bar a lot more than me. You probably will. I can be picky about this stuff sometimes. So you might, you might like this bar. It's, it's really not that bad. I just like to be nitpicky sometimes. So try it out. I, I think it's worth getting at least. And it might grow on you. It might grow on me. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you think. If you've tried this, let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you next time.